almost 7,000 years ago, the sun moved from the spring solstice from Gemini into Taurus, the age of the bull. It was venerated in Egypt is where we find it mostly as the golden calf. The motto of the age of Taurus is I will. It is a sign of earth, fixed earth, and that is what they venerated. The great pyramid gives the circumference and diameter of the earth because that's what they were venerating. The god of the earth that time, according to the Egyptians, was what they called Geb, the god of earth. When the exodus came and the slaves were taken out uh, into the age of Ares, it was an age of fire. Uh, the god of the burning bush to the Hebrews, Ahura Mazda to the Persians. It is the age of the motto of I am. So you have I will and I am. In this, the Exodus describes to us the battle of earth and fire. We are told a volcano at Santorini went off and caused the plagues that we know of, where the waters were divided and the Hebrews or the slaves were moved through the waters into the next age. And uh, also, there's a, I don't know if this is true, but there might be a discrepancy in history to where this age came in 216 years early. Uh, I'm not sure about that, but I have heard that in more than one source. But nonetheless, we move from the age of earth to the age of fire and the god of I am and Ahura Mazda. When Jesus came in, we were moving from the age of fire to the age of water. You'll know that today is the battle of fire and ice. And apparently the earth has been in a mini ice age, so uh, that makes perfect sense. And they are repeating this story for us now in the Game of Thrones, this battle of fire and ice. Um, Jesus came and Pilate had him arrested and he told him, uh, my kingdom is not of this world age. And that he told the apostles, when you see the man carrying the pitcher of water, follow him into the house and I will meet you there. The age of Pisces has been the age of the church. Its motto is, I believe. And we have walked of over 2,000 years through an age of complete blind faith. As we are, somebody asked me recently, how do we know that we're in this age? Well, in the age of Pisces, this age of water, um, let me back up. In the age of Earth, the Egyptians ruled, and there are pyramids all over the world. In the age of Aries, fire. Uh, Mars rules this. Venus ruled Taurus. Venus belongs here. And she's the goddess of love. Mars rules Aries. It's fire. They worshipped Vulcan, the god of fire and the volcano, uh, the god of the smiths of metals. Uh, they harnessed the metals of the earth and made war. This belongs to Mars. The church owns the age of Pisces, the age of what I call deception, because you have to believe with blind faith. Uh, now, as we move from Pisces, the uh, age of water, uh, the Phoenicians dominate this age. Uh, the Vikings, those who traveled in boats, uh, they conquered the world. The Admiral of the Navy holds the highest rank on this planet today. How do we know we're in the age of Aquarius? It takes 216 years to move from one age into another. The sun takes 72 years to move one degree. It takes three degrees to change from one um, sign to another. The last degree of the sign you're in, the degree that divides the two, 
and then the first degree into the next sign, which is a total of 216 years. Um, we saw the completion of the age of Pisces when we had a navy that literally ruled the world. Um, the Spanish Armada, um, our navy today, and it all began with the Phoenicians and the Vikings who circumnavigated the globe. Now, as we move into this age of Aquarius, it is a sign of air. Its motto is, I know, K-N-O-W. No more I believe, but I know. Uh, over here, I will and I am, that's William. William, I believe, I know. That's what these four signs say. Now, um, this is the sign of air. Every star in here has a, it translated out of the Arabic. Let's jump over here so we can see this in the star lore. Let's go back to when they were really telling us the truth about astrology. But up in the upper left-hand corner, let me delete some of this. Um, am I here? All we need is just the names of the stars. Uh, second lucky star of the tenths. First lucky star of the king. This is the sign of the king. That's who this is. All these stars over here. Uh, one of the luck of lucks. Your lucky stars are only found in two signs. And that is Aquarius and Capricorn. Uh, these are the lucky stars. And this is the king. Um, he is the sign of air. There are three deacons in this sign. We no longer use boats to, to go around the world. We fly in planes now. Uh, I believe the age of Aries, that 216 years began when I do believe it was the French that uh, invented hot air balloons. And now the Wright brothers brought us into the second stage. When you saw the battle in the Pacific Theater, um, World War II, you saw a battle that was fought on the sea, Pisces, and in the air, Aquarius. Okay, And still the Admiral holds the highest title, but it actually belongs to the air force. We have air waves, radio waves in the air, micro waves in the air. And it's funny that the sign of Aquarius looks like waves. They tell you that's water. But no, um, this is an air sign. Those are air waves is what there are. Radio waves, sound waves. Um, the elite are aware of this. The tutors change their name to, listen to me, Wind Czar. They're quite aware of what age we're entering into this 216 year period of moving from one age of water to another age of air. But here's another clue that the elites know. Um, in the oldest, back in the Egyptian, there were only nine constellations and Aquarius and Capricorn were one constellation. Uh, you, and they were both ruled by the planet Saturn. Uranus had not been discovered. Um, so, uh, and it was half man, half goat. Pan, the god Pan. Now we have Baphomet everywhere. Everybody's terrified of Baphomet. Baphomet is just nothing but man-goat all over again. It's the same thing. It's the sign of um, Aries and Capricorn. It's the goat man. It's the man-goat. It's Pan. It's Baphomet. They're both ruled by Saturn. Now, everybody wants to say the Jews, who were back here in Hebrew, in the sign of Aries, worship Saturn. No, they don't. They worship Mars. They always did. They worship Mars. This is a butter, and this is the first sign. The first sign up here in the left. And this is when this constellation rose in the spring equinox. Look at how beautiful Taurus looks today with the sun in it. 
Okay, so those of you who have a birthday today, you are in the you were born in the age of Taurus, not any other. Don't buy into Western astrology. It's incorrect, and I'm going to tell you why. Because you can't see the stars in the day. This was a nighttime thing. It has to do with the moon. Sun signs haven't been around that long, maybe a hundred years or so, because we can't see the stars when the sun's present. And uh, it's off by almost 30 degrees. So uh, be sure to check where they actually were. And I know a lot of you freak out when you find out you're not the sign you were told you were. But look, we've been in the age of Pisces, the age of blind faith, delusion, lies, uh, deception. And now we're moving into an age of knowing. That's what Aquarius is all about, that that air sign and that knowing. Um, it's like moving into the heavens, right? Air, Heaven is a part of the air signs. So you can say that... Uh, there used to be heaven on earth uh, way back here in Gemini, right? We moved from water, cancer, air, earth, fire, water. Let me get this air, earth, fire. Okay, and that's just how it works. So this is bringing back God, heaven, air, on earth, Capricorn. And it's not evil, and it's not spooky, but these guys over here who want to remain in control are working in conjunction with these guys. Um, this is the Vatican, this is Jerusalem, and this is Cairo, or Luxor, if for lack of a better exact location, Alexandria, Egypt, whatever. But that's what you're dealing with, is these three entities here, and of course, they try to pin that America is Egypt or Babylon or whatever. Uh, but uh, no, Babylon served in this time because he worshipped Molech, the god of fire. You pass your children through the fire, through the fire. And that's what this was all about. But we're moving into the age of air, which we have very little information about. We don't know much about what happened in the age of Gemini other than probably right here at the end of Cancer into Gemini, we had a great flood right about here. It's longer ago than what they told us. And then this was a recoup period, probably um, some description of it in the Bible, but it's not in chronological order. And to me, the Bible is an astrology book if you know how to read it. It matches what's in the heavens. But it is not in chronological order. It has been tampered with. Another thing that I like, um, right now the sun has its winter solstice right here at the tip of the arrow of Sagittarius. And that lies between fire again and water again. What happened back in the changing from uh, Aries into Pisces. But we have one god that rules the next two ages, which is Saturn. Saturn just entered a 36-year period of um, ruling in the cycle of the changing of the planets. And uh, we have been in the age of the sun for 36 years, and now it is moving to Saturn. Saturn will also take charge in 2020 when Saturn and Jupiter conjunct in the sign of Capricorn, which is another house of Saturn in 2020 at the winter solstice when the sun is sitting right here saturn and jupiter i mean yes yeah, saturn and jupiter will be right here with pluto which is considered the god of the underworld anubis the ferryman um, you can go through the different uh, traditions and cultures to understand that but uh yes we are definitely in the age of aquarius uh, right now, the seas and the waves are roaring. There are floods everywhere. This is the last vestiges of the age of Pisces trying to maintain its dominance. Uh, but it will be done away with by the air sign, the air waves, and everything associated with Aquarius. I hope that helped some of you to understand and answered some of your questions. I wish I could do longer videos.